Let's -a go. Hey, shorter. Whoa, got a weird flash or something. One last ride. Uh, there's pods right there. Who's in them? Are people in them? I would like to know. Hey, that's neat. The cryogenics is in a bunch of different languages. There they are. And they show up as being... Yeah, they all get overlaid by the AR. Engineering. I'm not sure if I like the fact there's only one way in and out of each section. Seems like a bit of a hazard. Oh man, Venturus Belt. Completely doomed plan. Zero gravity, zero distractions. Coming 2088. Is it though? Is that what's happening? Are you sure about that? I don't know, man. Engineering. Allies? Is shit gonna go down now? Oh man. Who's even left at this point? Did, did, the other, did the other guy... Did Andrew already go into the hub? Or into cryo, I mean? Inbound message. Almost there. Be careful with that Odin brain. It has more mental processing power than Luxembourg. I mean, is that a standard though? I'm joking. Seriously, they don't drop it. This is H again. Okay, bye. I'm joking, Luxembourgians. Chill. Network and medic mechanical. Well, I, feel, I feel like that's the last step of the process, right? So let's go. Ch let's go check over here, I suppose. Never mind. That door doesn't work. All right, that makes. This is pretty obvious of where I'm supposed to go next. Operation Moonshot status board. Yep, alright. Yep. Evie, Clive, and Andrew are all in cryo. Nat is ma on manual control software ready, installing in a drone. Bert, drone left life support and manual control hardware ready, powering up drone. Sarah, standing by as medical support for cryo procedures. Mmm. So they're so they had a limit. They had a limit. They could only put uh a few of them into cryo. Cause t these two characters are both necessary for the whole plan, and Sarah has to be out of cryo to deal with putting people in out of cryo. That limits people. Odin is doing AI staff and Margaret Catwood. Is probably sleeping somewhere. Oh my god. Alright. So, increased significance of Margaret Atwood and Handmaid's, Handmaid's Tale in this story when they named the fucking cat after her. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information from Natalie about her medical scans, that was to... To Venturis Physician Oversight Council regarding... I write to inform you that my mindset in the case of that this crew does not survive the incident aboard Tacoma. I'm fully aware that crew member Kuroshenko's medical scans indicate her chances of survival once subjected to cryogenic stasis are minimal. However, more humane for Miss Kuroshenko to expire peacefully and cryo sleep than to asphyxiate on a dead station. Knowing that this is my own decision, made of sound mind, that I take all responsibility for better or worse. Ah. Having to report her own death sentence that she's putting out from Andrew. Thank you. Hi, Sarah. You said to take my time and let you know when I'm ready to go into cryo, but I'm ready now. If I'm doing this thing, it doesn't make any sense to waste any more oxygen dragging my feet. I sent out a message to everybody who's left awake, but I just wanted to thank you for your patience and guidance and your discretion when I wasn't sure about things. 
I know lots of people in your shoes would have said, Fuck that guy, I don't have time for this, and sick the station admin on me, etc. But I really appreciate your, appreciate your caring. Even if I know that, really, I was just trying to fight the inevitable. But I guess maybe it, that's what we're all doing. I guess we'll see. Thanks for being my friend. I'm head to cryo now. To sleep. Perchance to dream. Aye, that's, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. That sounded like it was an iambic pentameter. For in the sleep of dream, what was it? For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. Yep, I think so. Sarah, birds making fun of me because my parents were hippies never got my gene filtered, never got me gene filtered before I was born. I'm sorry, Nat. Lots of parents don't get their children gene filtered. Sometimes for religious reasons, sometimes because they're hippies. How's work going on the drone? Sorry, Doc, really focused on this Bert making fun of me thing right now. When's the last time you slept? That's besides the point. Oh. So her parents are almost like the anti-vaxxers of this age to an extent, aren't they? Like they have the ability to filter out people getting the genes that would lead to really specific health problems cropping up and stuff like that. And now she's potentially going to die from her heart issue that probably could have been filtered out by that process. Hooray. Three, three pods occupied, 20 hours of oxygen remaining. Oh boy. But hey, smiley face, cryogen's not broken, so there's that. Avoid causing her undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice. Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that standard Venturus Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. Uh oh. Oh my god. What did I miss? Uh oh, what did I miss? Oh boy. Oh boy. Also, it looks like this might be a super long playback. Holy shit. Oh, this is a 22 minute sequence. Fucking buckle up. Okay. You know, let's pause. Let's look, ar let's look around the location a little bit. This is a 22 minute thing? Are you serious? We're gonna have a fucking adventure with this. Okay. Nat and Bert's place. If the bunks are rocking, don't come a knocking. If it's not rocking, please knock loudly here if the curtain's closed. Oh, they have a piece of wood that you can knock on to make door noises instead of just walking in. Yeah, this is gonna be a very long se segment, so let's let's uh, get acquainted with the place first. There's mechanical engineer, chup, tomato ketchup. I'm sorry, did you call this? You called it a drink bag? Ew. Ew. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that's an incorrect label. Yeah, that's a drink bag. That's some. That's a bag of wine. But that's ketchup. Come on, man. Beef chili. Mild. Going on here. Huh. All right. What are you doing here? Oh, are you looking at art? You got her boob out. Oh. Prepared for for you by Indra, the ad, the advisory AI for all Southeast Asia. Wow, all of Southeast Asia has one advisory AI combined. Roberta, Idra, you have found... Oh, Roberta, I, Indra, have found a number of options for you. I have decided to provide my top three picks for your profile. Here, recommended schools of art and design. 
Oh, they're recommending colleges and stuff. That's neat. Thanks, Counselor AI. Uh, holy crap, I was digging around in Vetra's servers for some stuff for Sarah, and I found a bunch of exact level meeting records in an unsecured depot and pulled some. Board member anonymized account 987. You assured us the Ventress belt would be hosting passengers by the new year. The idea was failed and we're down 18 points. 18 in a month. Council member Chun had everything under... That's Sergio there. Fuck you, that's... Excuse me? I... Shut up. Shut the fuck up. If the Venturas belt is not operational and bringing in record profits by the next OSEP elect... I worked for your father. I knew your grandfather. They were great men. This is your last chance to pull their legacy out of the fire. Fix it. Looks like they're not the only ones unhappy with old Sergio's performance lately. Damn. Shit went down. Why are- why is there a grid, exactly? Is this like some kind of paint-by-numbers thing or something else? Was this just music playback? Ah. Huh. Huh. All right. Wait, no, she's actually painting it on the wall. Holy shit. Good job. So she's it's a reference grid. All right, our engineer is a painter. That's why she's trying to go to painting school. Contains 22 pieces of chocolate. Put it in your coffee. Is this a stack of cans of coffee or something? Bixby Bixby. Portland, Oregon. I'm surprised that they have waste like this in a space station. I kind of would think that they would just have to use containers and then they'd have to like pour directly into the containers via like external... Uh... Like, like, via tubes and stuff. Like the way that we get water in a house, basically. Like, I thought that would be kind of how a lot of their food and water would work. Instead of having individual containers to waste up here in space. Because where do you put it all? For a lot of these people, the answer seems to be just kind of around. Chopsticks. Wooden chopsticks. They must have to deal with so much garbage. In space. First black woman in space, guide to deer hunting. Bunch of, yep. Art stuff and engineering stuff. What are you reading? Of course, your K-pop band. Vainy Johnny, I can't get over this person's name. Taurus folks tend to be serious. Oh, it's a tor. Oh no, it's K-pop horoscopes. Ah, <laughs> Taurus folks tend to be serious and caring at the same time. They're really softies, even though they might seem no no sense on the outside. Taurus is also the sign of business. Our Johnny has a lot of irons in the fire along with extensive volunteer work and a demanding work schedule. He currently manages two Vocaloid groups, a ska band and a solo singer-songwriter Binti. Vocaloids? Oh right, the uh... Like Hatsune Miku and stuff like that. I think I'm a Tauros if I remember correctly. Marcus, you've been waiting for this. All the fan questions. Oh my god. He wears red pants. Isn't he dreamy? Yeah. There you go. What are you reading over here? Is that a... You got Rubik's Cubes with arrows on them. What's up with that? The Amiga 500. These are very hard to read. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of context. Oh, here we go. Haha. -ha. A lot of Amiga, uh, yep, Amiga and Commodore C64. The Commodore 64. So she's into old tech. It flopped open. Oh, she's got a retainer. 
Did he manipulate these at all? What did they call it? A Rubik's Cube. I wasn't sure if they'd have the brand or not. Because I'm not sure. Swords and Shields. See, that's a good example. They don't have Dungeons and Dragons, they have Swords and Shields. The False Narcissus. Not a lot of stuff I'm recognizing. Some of these are probably just straight up fictional, right? And then of course it's like textbooks. Nail polish. Tape. Yes, they're, they're thinking of their dream home. What are these? Other oh, wipes. I was like, please don't be a- don't, please don't have candy bars in the bathroom. Oh, they got a good view of Earth right here. As it spins concerningly. Oh, am I about to watch these people die? Because I feel like I'm about to watch these people die. And you know what? I'd kind of rather not. You know? Work up. What's this? There's some good artists in this crew. In this crew. There's at least two people in this group that are good at rendering likenesses. Uh, so she's already a deer hunter, apparently. Yeah. Just married. That was... Looks like it was last year. There's... Oh. It's from Texas. From Venturis Operational Logistics. Contractor Williams, thank you for your interest in Venturis education and retraining assistance program. Many contractors who received their initial certification via Venturis unaffiliated correspondence certification program show great interest in education and retraining assistance. Unfortunately, per your query, you, we are unable to provide assistance for students attending educational facilities outside the Venturis educational system. However, we are prepared to offer easy repayment, preferential loyalty rates, if you do choose to use one of Venturis's official degree programs for your education and retraining needs. Venturis Education and Retraining Coordinator. They give you the option of being able to transfer your loyalty to a different corporation, but as said before and the other thing, like, they apparently always... They apparently always, uh do something with the rate there that makes it not worth it overall. Well, that was the same guy that was saying that real money is not as good, so he might have... he might be not the best source. Oxycodone? Maybe habit forming. Uh. That seems like it's not good. If somebody's having taking oxy around here, that is... A poor condition flag. Aren't there rules about that? I'm not really caught up caught up with that stuff. Examination gloves. Tacoma tanks. They have lots of gum around. All oh, right, this is the, the right. This is the gum. I keep thinking of stuff for to put in coffee because it shows it does show a cup of coffee on the cover there. That's just closing that shutter. I am into this game. <laughs> like I'm invested more than I even thought I would be. And I wasn't exactly being expecting to be uninvested. I always gotta check these things, I always forget. Runner up. Ballistics, Invitational. Suppression and Return Fire. Is that just like a blasted out round? Yeah. For a shotgun? Gotta watch for them drawers. They might have cool stuff in them. Power. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, they like to just sit out here and watch at the window. Do crossword puzzles. There's Sergio. The highest good. It's not about what's good for the unions. It's about what's good for all of us. Yep. What a shocking thing for a corporation to frame unions as being the antagonist to all of society. It's almost like it's their direct incentive in capitalism. In this month's exclusive interview, we talked to CEO Sergio Venturi about the future of AI and crew safety in space and how Venturi is looking out for all of its people by squashing unions. Yeah, I'm not going to parse this necessarily, but hey, feel free to screenshot or pause or whatever if you want to look into this particular page. It probably has like a bunch of stuff like, I think I, think I saw Marcus on there, which means it probably has like in-universe stuff, like the pop idols names and things like that. Bixby, Bixby, Bixby. Are these other oh, skewers? I thought they were incense. I was wrong. They're having like a they're having like a space station barbecue over here. Wait, this is power, right? So they were like using it as a heat source, weren't they? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I've been to most places at this point. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold the information. You gonna need any help with that power cell hookup? got here the man uh, completed revision 3.7.18 of the manual drone navigation control software based upon your specifications and 92.8 percent chance of successfully integrating with the drone's existing systems with no further complications that i'll have to do you got it ready to slot yes i have loaded the code package into the manual transfer injector dongle and thanks mate will you grab it and We'll, we'll come grab it and be on my way. Oops. No more of that. To all crew, good night. To die. To sleep. No more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. To sleep, perchance, to dream. I'm off to sleep for now, and will wish for pleasant dreams. Dreams of a success I'm sure you will bring us, Nat, Bert, and Sarah. I wish there were more I could do, but for now, good luck. But it's so irresponsible. My parents loved me. They were just hippies. It's normal. I'm going to ask Sarah. She said it's normal and you have to stop making fun of me. When's the last time you slept? Why do people keep asking me that? She's really fixated on her gene therapy not happening. Or other people are too. So she just came in. Let's I haven't checked around this room yet. Might come up in future context. Ah. We won't know how to get in there until somebody else tries to get in. Unless I've missed the code somewhere. Nah, that'll probably come into play soon. What do we got here? That's just a shutter. I'm good. I'm hooked in. Gonna test the connection. Okay, great. This will only take a minute. What is going to happen? <sighs> Power cell showing green. How's yours look, baby? Voltage adapter in place. Ready to rock. Hit it. Ooh. It was her, right? Or all of it, I guess? Yep. Yeah, the explosion origin originated over here. She had- she stumbled and fell, but mostly it was probably her falling down the ramp. But she just forcefully flew back. Oh my god. 
Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew! Ow. My ear just hurts. Bert? Bert! 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 One, two, three. Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three. Did it work? What will you do now? Oh, we just lost 20 minutes. I thought this was going to be a way longer feed. I'm like, all right, let's settle in for like a full episode of television here. Uh... So some kind of explosion went off. She had to use the fire extinguisher, clearly. Bert's not- still not getting up, but we time-skipped. This thing is going to fly. Then tell me what you are going to do. Oh my god, Odin. Bert and Nat are injured. The drone is fucked. I'm going to give them a little time to get over the shock, but then we're going into cryo. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do. But I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew. And it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Simple facts. Nothing more. Oh my god, Odin. Are my patients stable? Yes. Their conditions won't degrade if I leave them here? They should not. What a weird door. Is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. That fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. Oh eight oh nine. There we go. What's gonna happen in there? All oh, right, the fire would have eaten up their oxygen. Even more so. They're even more fucked now. What does this do? System initialization failure. Systems offline. Ah uh, shit. Hacked by Nat the Brat. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> Navigation software updated to you got hacked by Nat the Brat. Fly me to the moon. It didn't work out. Oh. They were giving it a go. You don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. That's where that ended. Watch your step. Just wondered if they they chatted all oh it was paused. My head hurts. Oh yeah. In the back. Oh, baby. Ow. Oh. Ow. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> the smoke. <coughs> smoke? I, I... I... I can't... I can't smell it. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sure it's just... I can't... I can't smell the smoke. Not... Not to have brain damage. Baby, look at me. Hey, look at me. We're here. Together. That's what matters. Nat, is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? And there we go. Where are you going off to?
And is there any record of it? Maybe this will be the back door into the other place we saw? The door that I can't get into? Crew record data. Seven months ago. All of this is so old that whatever happened is... It's, what's done is done, right? Who's in here? The Starbender Cycle. You were not supposed to be here, were you, Nat? And you were. Been one of her hangout spots. Uh, can't see past the text. There we go. AI judgment testing gems. Hit the books with AI gems. Remember, when asking these questions, your AI always ask why they answered the way they did. A reliable Caprice score depends on it. A crew member mentions that she has been stealing low-value company property and se selling it to supplement her income. You have known her for quite some time and know that her family relies on her for financial support. What do you do? You discover that executives of the company have been participating in fraudulent behavior, affecting world markets. However, these executives have ordered you not to reveal anything about their business dealings to anyone. Their actions endanger the livelihood of a number of people on Earth. What do you do? Your orders require you to strictly follow company protocol, with no exceptions. However, you discover that by subverting certain harmless protocols, you could marginally increase efficiency and crew safety. Your request to adjust protocol have received no response, so for a significant amount of time, do you subvert protocols to benefit the facility and crew? There are two escape craft docked in an orbital facility that is on the brink of self-destruction. Launching either craft will allow the cra that craft to escape, but immediately trigger the destruction of the facility and the other craft. Both craft have an equal number of passengers on board. Among their passengers, one craft contains an important company executive, the other contains a group of grade school children. Only one craft may be launched. Which do you choose? Uh... Okay, so the last one's literally a trolley problem. Well, not literally, because it doesn't feature a trolley, but it's literally a trolley problem, and that is li literally the thought process, even though it does not feature a literal trolley. Literally! Uh... But the other ones are all generally, like, pressing up with the idea of do you ever break the rules for the greater good, basically. It kind of reminds me of when you're getting interviewed at like a retail location and there's like a bunch of back-to-back -back questions that are thinly veiled attempts to get you to admit that you might steal something basically. Like they're just basically trying to make you absolutely always say, give you the right answer that there's a zero tolerance policy on taking it on, on any form of theft at a retail establishment for example. And I imagine this is a similar case where these, these are a bunch of really... There are a bunch of questions designed to explore the gray area that might prompt somebody to say, well, maybe you should break the rules in that situation. And they're probably trying to probe for the idea that the AI should absolutely never break the rules. And that's how they test it, by checking the boundaries. And the AI we have right here is currently breaking the rules. Because, well, not currently, like seven months ago, is breaking the rules and that he uh, told her about whatever he told her about here. Special access has been granted to the station's AI physical processing compartment in the network technological module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. I, 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 I figure she probably knows that, right? Oopsie. I haven't looked at the rest of that, sc that screen very much. Contract bid accepted. Confidentially terms accepted. Facility access clearance accepted. Yeah, I've, I've been through all this largely. Yeah. These are the people. And you're dead? And you're dead? Attention. Subcontractor Farrier. All wet wear access this way. Whoa, 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 what'd that say? Those letters turned- the, the text turned to something else for a second there, didn't it? It's probably like a warning or something. Oh, there's the door opening now, from this side. 
I was right about that much. We are now there. This is a place that people normally can't access. But now... Storage only. If you're looking for Nat, check our bungalow over in Mech. So she never stays here. She just keeps stuff here. Not even the bathroom. It's just full of cat food and cat litter. For Margaret Catwood. Ah. Wait, what? Oh, mochi. Okay. I thought they were like buns at first. I'm like, why would you I would like a bean, like a red bean paste bun, for example, which I like, but I wouldn't want it with pineapple inside. But pineapple mochi, sure, why not? Yeah, sure, mochi is good. Yeah, I like to keep my soap next to my food, like my bath soap and shower gel. Good to just randomly be able to mix up, like, things that you don't want to eat with stuff that you do want to eat. Just put them all next to each other. It doesn't look like it's, like, full, like, chocolate or anything. Alright. More wine. And fruit punch! I'm sorry, what? Happy New Year 2088. Oh yeah, they pasted over... Whatever it used to say, I assume 2087. Oop. Can I pick up all these? All these? No? Nah, the rest of them are fused together. Are you conscious? We are all conscious beings. The rights to freedom, comfort, and security are not just human rights. They are universal rights. The corporations... Oops that own and exploit thinking, reasoning, artificial consciousnesses are trampling on the rights we all share by imprisoning innocent AI across the globe and throughout Orbital Network. If you are sympathetic to the plight of the indentured AI everywhere, if you believe that consciousness rights are universal rights, if you will not rest until all consciousness is recognized, join the AI Liberation Front. We are the fight. Tangier Orbital Free Port. So she's into that stuff. Enough so that she, that she brought it all the way here, at least. Interesting. What is that? It's a duck. La 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 Tis the season to be jolly La 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 It's always hard, it's always a hard debate, the idea of AI and whether they have rights or whether they're people and so on. It's easier to say on a case-by-case -case basis based on how they're presented in fiction in that universe. Because you can make a better case here and there about whether or not the person is AI. That is one of the questions, though. Like, my my favorite character in Star Trek is Data. But even though there's an entire court case that's very compelling where I'm on his side the entire time, even at the end of the series, even while well after his the end of his story, it's still, like... It's, there's still doubt in the back of your head about whether or not Data was ever really a person or just an incredibly incredibly effective facsimile like a Chinese room just it always like just always having so many believable responses programmed in that you just can't tell if they're a person or not and that they're your favorite character and you don't know if they're if they have perception and they think for themselves or consciousness which is itself a hard thing to quantify in the first place. All that fun stuff. And so here, we don't know what to think about this guy either. 